Hello Capricorn and welcome to your October 2019 mid-month reading. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Capricorn. This is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn for October 2019 for their mid-month reading. What is going on with Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? Okay. Okay, I'm seeing you being very emotionally um, confused right now, all right? You're concentrating on um, a new love, but there's, the past is still lingering here, so it's, it's like you've got... Um, options it's like you've got options between um, the future and the past and it's very emotionally confusing for you so you do have your choices though you've got options here Capricorn so there is one player in the game okay that uh, is still very passionate about you. We have this King of Wands energy, male or female, absolutely does not matter. You could be dealing with somebody with uh, fire in their chart or a strong fire sign, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but as an energy, this card is saying, you know, this person still has passion for you, Capricorn. So, one of the players in the game still wants to work it. I feel like there's two different people wanting to be with you right now, okay? And you've got your choice between the two. But I feel like you you are more de you are definitely uh, concentrated on this newer situation that has popped up, okay? You're looking for new love, Capricorn. That's what's going on here very hesitant to make a decision but you will you will make a decision i'm going to read um, the energies of the cards here capricorn if the sign of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up all the better okay um that's why i said you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart right um, keep in mind, time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now. You could be dealing with a situation like this in the future, or you could have already dealt with a situation like this. And please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. All right, so somebody is still trying to win you over, okay? This person, as a person, could be very, um, well, ambitious, right still in it still trying to fight for the connection with you very attracted to you um whether they let you know that or not they they are still uh very attracted to you uh this person could be their own business owner an entrepreneur a real go-getter right uh, but the bottom line here capricorn is they they're passionate about you okay so Oh, look at there. So this is a soulmate situation brewing. We got the king and the queen of wands. So to me, 
right? That is the same suit. Look how they're looking at each other. So two people very passionate about each other, okay? The difference with the Queen of Wands here, um, the Queen of Wands is also very passionate and goes after the things that she wants, just like the King. The thing with the Queen of Wands is she's kind of got to step into her power. She's got to get her confidence up. She's got to get her groove back before she goes after the things that she wants. But these are two people pretty hot after each other, okay? So the passion is most definitely there, all right? So that is very good. We're not speaking our emotions yet. We're not talking about our emotions, okay? Um, this is known as the Miser of the Tarot, Four of Pentacles. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're very... Um, guarded with our emotions right now and that is because Capricorn you have a choice to make you're not laying it all out on the line just yet you're not pouring your heart out to this individual just yet okay and they aren't either because I f there's somebody else in the equation right now so the passion is hot but somebody in somebody's got to make a choice um, could be you, could be them. I'm feeling more like it's you. Uh, but you assign the roles however you wish to your specific situation. So, right. We're not allowing our emotions to be said just yet in this new situation. And that is because we're waiting for movement. We're waiting to move on from... A past individual that's still very much present in the situation okay so I'm seeing too many people I'm seeing options so I feel like the past for whoever's got the choice and I'm thinking that it's you but definitely could be the other person how like I said however you want to play it however you want to assign the roles the past is very dramatic okay is very drama filled and a lot of lessons have been learned there so six of swords this is air energy gemini libra and aquarius waiting for movement waiting to move past this waiting to make a choice and yes it is very dramatic yes and it is very emotional okay so all right let's get into it before we go any further here so too many too many people that's what I'm seeing here and then we have the seven so we're gonna to have to make a choice in regards to this new situation that has cropped up they are that it is a strong connection the fire is hot between you and this individual um, the passion is very strong but somebody's you know got to make a choice here all right, that's very clear. And um, there's hesitation here, right? There's hesitation uh, to make a choice. There's hesitation to move on. Um, but it's going to have to happen. I feel like this new individual wants to, you know, get to know you more, get to know you better, uh, spend more time with you with this Three of Cups. The past situation is trying to reconnect, trying to um, reunite, reconnect. That's what I want to say. Three of Cups, that's water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The challenge is it's a very confusing time. Um, it's very emotional. The choices that you have to make between um, the past and your future right? So seven of cups, this is more water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You don't want to repeat past mistakes. You don't want um, a snake, right? You don't want to choose a snake. You want something good. You want a cup of jewels. You want that crown. You, you want something amazing here. But in, in your mind, you, you are thinking about this new cup of love, this new love that has come into the situation. And it's kind of, 
it's it's got you stirred up here capricorn okay so choices to make right decisions decisions what are we going to do very difficult very difficult decision to make here right there could be many other factors involved in your decision making but a decision must be made right your advice is to stop hesitating don't wait don't wait to make a, a choice don't wait to make your move the hangman is a very self-sacrificing energy capricorn you know what you want your head is all lit up here you know what you want and I can very clearly see what you're concentrating on here, okay? Um, so it's time. It's, it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a choice. The time to hesitate is through Capricorn, all right? Jim Morrison. So your focus has been on this new beginning in love this new energy that has come in and stirred your soul right that has um stirred your passions that has made you um uh, it's really got you real and it's really got you thinking it's really got those emotions flowing those passions flowing right so this is a new opportunity and a new beginning in love with a new energy. And I feel like that is your focus. But a decision needs to be made. Somebody's got to walk away from a past dramatic situation. Ace of Cups here, that's more water. Very emotional. And here, the outcome, even more water energy, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So... Somebody's going to have to leave a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling in order to grab your cup of love, okay? It's time to grab your cup of love, Capricorn, right? The time to hesitate is over. It's time to grab something real, something that makes you want to wake up in the morning, something that stirs something inside you, right? Where you have been the all the drama that you have been through in the past with past energies has left you completely emotionally drained these cups are empty it's time to go it's time to move forward here all right let's get some more information please clarify that eight of cups for capricorn for october 2019 for their mid month reading This is for Capricorn. October 2019, mid-month reading. What is going on here? Please clarify the Eight of Cups for Capricorn. Yep. Victory. That's where your victory is. Your victory is with this new energy, this new love, this new person. Right? That's where your victory is. They see you. You see them. This is Six of Wands. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is known as one of the marriage cards of the tarot. Your victory is with the new person. Okay? So, the world card. So, with these two cards here, definitely could live at a distance from this person just saying. But, you're closing out old chapters here, Capricorn. You are moving forward to something new that is where your victory is new chapters new love it's time to stop the hesitating you're very hesitant in this situation with this hangman there you know what you want and i don't think it's anybody this past situation is just not it's not um it's draining it's it's done right you're just like enough you know so it's time to move it's time for some movement here time for your victory time to leave things in the past that no longer serve you and time to start new chapters here with this world card closing out the past starting new beginnings all right so 
This is for Capricorn. Let's see what the Romance Angels have to say. This is for Capricorn. October 2019 for their mid-month reading for Capricorn. What is going on here? For Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What is going on here for Capricorn? Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. So, soulmate. Just what I said. The king and queen of wands. The masculine and the feminine of the same suit. Seeing things um, eye to eye. If there is a question, Capricorn, if this, if this person shares the passion that you have for them, this is the new energy, right? They do, okay? Both are very passionate about each other, both wanting to go towards each other, right? So keep an open mind. Yes, they could be very different from your past people that you have dealt with, and that's probably a very good thing because what did the past how did the past leave you right completely emotionally drained it was what full of drama full of all those waves full of drama this is where you're going to find your victory this new person this is where you're going to find your peace this is where you're going to find your little piece of happiness okay so you're going to feel alive again you're going to want to wake up in the morning with this person it's going to be very nice and they're very different than what you're used to and they probably have a lot of things to um, teach you you have a lot of things to teach them you have a lot of things to talk about because you're very different from each other right so that's a very good thing worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so like i said before the time to hesitate is over right this person may be waiting for you to make a choice okay and again maybe you are waiting for this person to make some moves here right well the time to hesitate is over it's time to make decisions like I said, there could be other factors involved in this decision making because it's clearly a very emotional decision. So divine timing, yes. You know, there could be other factors involved such as, you know, money ties to the past or family ties to the past, children involved. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on. But here's the thing. You got to grab this cup while it's here, right? No more waiting. No more waiting. You got to grab this. You got to grab your cup of love, Capricorn. That's what this is saying. You want your victory. You want to find your peace. You want to find your happiness. You want to find that passion again. You got to grab that cup of love while it is here staring you right in the face. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. That is your October 2019 mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. You can also find that information in my About section of my channel. There you can also find a weekly schedule so you know when your weekly reading will be released. We're a little off schedule uh, this week because I wasn't feeling very well yesterday, but... We're going to get back on track here. Um, there you can also find a live schedule. And I usually go live every day, except for Saturday, around noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all of that out, Capricorn. You guys have a great day and a beautiful week and take very good care of yourself, okay? I will talk to you soon. God bless.